Hey guys, it's Michael Cantu with Inside EVs. Thank you for tuning in today. Right here is the stunning Audi e-tron GT Quattro, but this is actually the RS model, the most powerful model you could buy. Just look at it. It's great looking. When I first saw it back in 2018, I was floored like many others were. Fortunately for us, Audi made the production model look almost exactly like the concept. Thank you, Audi. But that's enough about the looks. Let's go see what this EV is all about. The Audi e-tron GT is the electrical cousin to the Porsche Taycan. So naturally, they have a lot of similarities. The e-tron GT has a 93 kilowatt hour battery pack and over 230 miles of range. The charging speed is fast. It could charge up to 270 kilowatts, meaning that an 80% charge will take about 20 minutes or so. But you're probably wondering about acceleration and power. The e-tron GT Quattro can hit 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds. The more powerful RS model can do it in just 3.1 seconds. Once it's tested in the real world, I have a feeling it'll be a little bit quicker. The e-tron GT Quattro has up to 522 horsepower. The RS model takes it up to 637 horsepower, but that's with overboost, which lasts about 2.5 seconds. The back of the Audi e-tron GT is really cool. Look at these tail lights. They have a nice 3D effect and they span all the way across the entire rear of the car. You also have a pop-up spoiler right here. Right here, you have some nice carbon fiber trim down here at the bottom is a rear air diffuser although i don't know if it actually works or not <laughs> so back here you have these big hunches that give it a nice muscular look you also have these nice crease lines right here down here you have very large 21 inch wheels they have these these blades right here which are supposed to help with range behind these big wheels you have big carbon ceramic brakes now those are specific to the RS model. And then in between, in between both rear wheels, of course you have an electric motor, but you also have an electronic limited slip differential as well. So up top on the roof right here, it's all carbon fiber, which is specific to the RS model. The model back there, the regular GT Quattro has a glass roof. Down here you have more carbon fiber pieces and some nice dark side skirts. And when you go up here, the mirror caps are also carbon fiber. Right over here, you have vents, right um, behind the wheel and in front of the wheel, and they are real vents. So up front, you have this grill, a grill that's unlike any other Audi out there. It's all blacked out and it's even textured right here. It's pretty neat. The Audi grill is also all black up here on the hood, it's a nicely sculpted hood. It looks very nice. And these are Audi's laser lights. Very cool looking lights, although they aren't legal in the US just yet, but hopefully they will be soon. There's a lot to love about the Audi e-tron GT, except for maybe the price. The GT Quattro model starts at $99,900. The RS model right here is another $40,000. That's under a similar Taycan model, but above the Tesla Model S. If you want one of these for yourself, you have to wait until this summer once they become available. Regardless, there's no arguing it. The Audi e-tron GT is fast, it's high-tech, but more importantly, it's Audi's future. <laughs>